There's a new slugger in town. Anaheim born and bred, Mark Trumbo is now finding a home with the Diamondbacks. What's it been like just getting acclimated to a new place? You know, it's been, it's been really easy so far. It's like the best group of guys I've been around. Um, you know, everyone's been super welcoming. Any questions I've had, it's been like that. There are no issues. Um, the facilities are second to none. By far the nicest I've ever, you know, I've ever been to. Um, it's, been, it's been great so far. The Diamondbacks traded for Trumbo to inject more power into the lineup. After all, he hit 95 home runs over the last three seasons. But if you ask him, you haven't seen the best of Mark Trumbo, and it's not all about home runs. I think there's a lot more in the tank. Um, I have hit a lot of home runs, driving a lot of runs. Those are things I take a lot of pride in. But, uh, I definitely see myself, I've made some adjustments this off season to kind of combat some of the weaknesses I have. And I anticipate um, you know, being more, I guess, a, a better rounded player this year. And his new ballpark will allow him to break some old habits. I think I might have gotten into some bad habits. Um, you can't, I don't, I don't blame it on the field, but at times Anaheim can play pretty tough, especially the opposite side of the field. And I think sometimes guys shy away from trying to take on um, you know, that part of the ballpark. A lot of balls get caught, a lot of balls get uh, stuck in that marine layer and they're outs. I think as a hitter, you subconsciously stop. You, know, you don't want to make outs, so you start trying to pull the ball too much. And I, I found myself there. I didn't use the opposite field enough, and that's something I'm, uh, in the past, I've been pretty good at. And I need to get back to doing that. And with that comes you know, a lot more holes and a lot better uh, swings. So in the offseason, I went back to really trying to work that right center field gap, um, cut down my stride, too. Uh, I've been using a big leg kick, and that can, it's tough. You know? If you use it and the timing's on, it can be pretty good. And if it's not, it can be pretty bad. A lot of peaks and valleys. And I think, you know, cutting that down is going to be, uh, you know, going to add, add to my consistency.